Okay, here's what the clamp looks like, clamp to it. Um, there's an adapter with a larger hole that goes on top. You can see the the nut from the ball joint's gonna gonna come through the top. It's gonna push down on it a little bit. Um, then on the bottom you have this tube that as this pushes down on it, it's gonna push the ball joint out through the lower control arm. It's gonna come out in this tube. Uh, into here and uh, it uh, takes a little bit of torque. If I had a lift, I had this thing in the air, I'd just put my impact on that thing uh, and do it, but since I'm working on the floor, I'll be uh, I'll be using a, uh, a ratchet and my trusty equalizer pipe that'll uh, that'll get it right out. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of cranking, so probably end up speeding it up. This is why everybody should have a lift in their garage. It's already coming out. Seems a little bit, a little bit easier than the other side. And there it is. It fell right down in there. There it is. And then the other one's going to go right up from the bottom. Stay tuned. Okay, so the new one's got a grease fitting on it that I'm going to put on there with a uh, little 930 seconds wrench. And just snug it on there. You don't need to torque it on there like crazy. Just nice and snug. And there you go. And, uh, I'll take this uh, take this boot off it, take the crown nut off it, and she's ready to install. Okay, so you kind of have to flip this adapter around the opposite way to reinstall it. So I've got this adapter here on the bottom. Here's the ball joint. You probably can't see, but the ridges or the splines are right here this is going to get pushed up in here and when when this little ridge here is flush with the uh, lower control arm it's done and ready to go alrighty I'm gonna get cranking yeah this is a lot tougher then the removal. <laughs> this is when the lift would really come in handy so I could get my Mac impact on this thing and already have it on. But um, this you do it toughen you up a little bit too
Okay, so you see this ring right here? There's that little gap right in between it and the uh, lower control arm. I've almost got it cranked all the way up in there. I'm just going to show you the last few turns. it tightens up you can feel it, it uh, when it tightens up it's tight you know it you'll uh, try to put too much on it you'll feel your ratchet start to bend a little bit and it looks like that's it we've got it Now to get the to get the boot down on there good I found there's an adapter with this kit that fits this ring on this boot perfect and uh, you give it a few taps and it seats it right down over the edge like it should looking good And there we go. It's on there. So the knuckle goes back up on top. crown nut on here you have to line up the crown nut there's a hole that goes through the bolt on the ball joint and you just have to get down there and look at it make sure it lines up so the cotter pin will go through it and uh, and you put the cotter pin through and you bend it around the sides and uh, you're good to go and as soon as those holes line up with the crown and you can get that through it's tight that's all you need this uh, particular crown nuts of uh, 15 sixteenths I used a box stand on it that's all I needed didn't need to put any torque on it or anything um, tighten this down until the until the hole lines up and uh, and you can get the uh, cotter pin through it put the cotter pin through it give it a couple little taps get it in there I have my uh, extended needle nose pliers very handy for this bend that dude around there Bend both of those around until it's nice and tight and it won't go anywhere in your You want to reattach the stabilizer link before you attach the top part. So I put my little floor jack little helper underneath here put a 2x4 under in between the, it and the uh, lower control arm and I'll uh, jack it up a little bit to raise raise control arm up And there you go. Put the bolt in through there. And 
uh, you're good to go on that. I'll attach the uh, stabilizer link bolt here. Put the caliper back on and ready to drive. You line up the groove so the bolt will go through. Give it a couple little taps with whatever you have to tap. Put the nut on there, tighten that down. That's good to go. And uh, rotor, couple caliper bolts, you're done. Calipers back on. Checked all the nuts, all the bolts, make sure everything's tightened down to proper specs. And uh, put the tire back on and we're ready to go. Thanks for watching.